Okay, now it's recording. It's pretty simple. All right, so what you were saying before, and when we turned the camera, it, like, died, but, uh... Yeah. So there'd be several things that this could do. What you just described is, like, the fastest way that somebody could do a complete open patent. No, they're not patenting it. They're dedicating I know that, but it's 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 basically a patent. No. It's I know it's not a patent, but it's basically serving with the strength of a patent. It's a particular way for it's 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 dedicating something so it can't be patented. It's an anti patent. You're putting it yeah, you're it's putting it into the public domain and making right. it not novel. Right. No, which, no which, longer. Cop, uh, from what I understand, the um you want to make sure this is pointing right and stuff. Yeah, so, it is. So from what I understand, this is uh, that Creative Commons doesn't necessarily accomplish that, right? Because that's that's copyright law. That's not patent law, right? Well, yeah. But what I was what I was pointing out was that that the kind of thing that you're talking about, or uh, uh, there are some concepts. Let me switch it back to me for just yeah. a second. So. Um, in in copyright law, there is the idea of fair use. Okay, fair use of copyrighted material. Fair. You spoke a little bit about the idea. If a company wants to make a bunch of money off of something, then that's not that would not be great. That's not something that you envision. Right. That and they some of this conversation didn't get recorded. Just so you know. Right. That's why I'm repeating it. So, um, uh, anyway. In, in the, the doctrine of fair use in copyright law, um, the way it shakes out is that if it's for personal use or if it is for educational use, mm -hmm. it tends to fall within the um, exception called called uh, fair use fair use right. yes but that doesn't you, apply but to if it. you start making money off of it then it's definitely not fair use <laughs> okay? yes yes so so in other words that in a way it is it parallels the concept that you're talking about is dedicated dedicating things to the public good however if people were trying to make money off of it they'd have to pay right now answer my last question very directly as much as you can copyright is not the same as patenting Right. Correct. Okay. That's that was that was the question I was but, asking. Well, you, that's okay. the question I'm asking. That's the question I'm trying to put forth so that open sourcers understand this. Yeah. Creative Commons copyright is not going to cover inventions. Correct. Okay. So that's what I asked you. This is a really important concept for open source, you know, People makers, all of us to get. Like, you can't just. Use Creative Commons licensing and expect that your invention yeah. is going to be protected, okay? Especially yeah, definitely now. Not. Especially yeah. now, because the way that this law works is that the first person to file then is the inventor. So Correct. you've got to have the resources to do the, to do the filing. you got to have the time, which most of us don't. We're mostly interested in just making stuff... At, uh, at like solving problems ad hoc and really don't want to take the time to do all this cop you know this patent crap um and then we lose the rights to re lose the rights to make any profit from it which everybody should be able to make like a small profit but industrial type profits should should compensate those inventors the open sourcers who do this so there's a whole bunch of little things but just knowing that um the other thing is that now that originally let's say you had the the proof that you had invented this this whole new innovation right mm -hmm. you could challenge somebody who went to the patent office and, and is claiming the right to make a profit off of that um now you can't um the the only way that you would be able to do that is if you had documents it, the documents of like oh here's a picture of it here's the date this is me playing with it those don't matter anymore the the kinds of documents that you need in order to challenge it would literally require you to have access to that party's personal documents of their of their process that would prove that they use your design which so, is often very difficult to do oh, which it's is why impossible. that's why that's why i'm suggesting that's why i'm that's why i'm suggesting that if instead you have a a very stable you know, repository, public repository yes. 
for uh, for things right. that would be we dedicated that. in that way. We got that. So there's, then, there's there's and it has to be absolutely unhackable. Okay. Yeah. There's That's really so there's important. three things, please. So these three things are that we should be able to patent some of these. Okay. For some people who would like to get a small bit of whatever is donated by the public for that gift, and if a company wants to use that innovation that they compensate us. They compensate the people that they're used. Like Google uses all kinds of open source shit and they're not paying a fucking dime. And they've got their Google patent search, which is pretty much just a harvester to find out what somebody else is inventing. Right. There's, yeah. you know that you don't have to make that face. So I'm saying this very clearly. The second thing then is that, um, that then we do what you're saying, which is making a, a total open repository, which is like an anti-patent. And that then the third thing is pushing what it means to be obvious, like always innovating the concept of what's obvious, that a 3D printer is like a cup. It's an obvious invention that everybody should know how it works. So th that would be the people's patent process. It's not a new patent office. It's a process to help streamline that so that people have the resources and that everybody can participate in what it means to be an obvious invention, what should be totally anti-patented, and what should be patented, so that there's some kind of rolling collective set of tools that anybody can use, as long as it's not for private enterprise or private corporations. And when that happens, that there's a process that feeds back this commons of, con of, of innovation so that it can keep moving, so that we can raise funds, so that we can anti-patent more stuff, right? Mm -hmm. It's... Um, okay. uh, let, me, let me explain. No, it, nobody's going to watch a video more than like 10 minutes. So okay. We should stop it. Okay. So we, All right. Go... Stopping it? Yeah, go ahead. And stop. Okay.